Right, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to find out the PCD of a five stud hub. Now, if it's four stud, what you do is you go from one side right across the other side, and you measure the distance and that is your PCD. Now with a five, obviously there's nothing there to measure to. You can guess, we should be guessing around here. So what you need to do, get yourself some digital calipers. Go in one side and go across until you get about right. 63.9. Remember that time when you thought at school you didn't need trigonometry? Well, you don't because there's all calculators online now. So all you need to do is go to a pentagon calculator and side A, that's the distance between the bolts. So that was 63.9. And calculate. Now what we need is that radius to the points. And that's circum radius. So 54.3, whatever. So 54.4. So there you go, 54.4. Times that by two, because it's a radius, turn it into a diameter. 108. From there, you can pretty much work out what it should be. That could be it's unlikely to be 110, so it's more likely to be 108. If we look at the, the standard sizes, you've got 105, which is obviously too small. 108, 110, it's close to 108, so it's most likely to be 108. And you get to choose your yellow wheels you want. Obviously, you need to know the uh, the offsets and the widths to match, but I'll leave that up to you. Now you don't need to have digital calipers if you don't have any. You can use your, your standard tape. Now don't try and use that end because it's just a nightmare won't happen. So start from like a 10 or something and get your, your best guess in. But then obviously that's not that, it's that minus 10. And then stick that in the uh, in your calculator. Once you've got your best guess, get yourself a pair of compasses, or some people call them a compass, incorrectly and set it to the radius that you've been given and draw yourself the circle of the correct size. All right, so mine was 54, so put that there. 54. There you go, you just about see it anyway. And then you can uh, hold it up behind the wheel in this case, if I lay that down on top of it, you just need to adjust it until you can see the line. And as long as it runs through the centre of each of the holes, then you know that's the correct PCD.